At the start of this year, Colorado Parks and Wildlife officials had some bad news to share about the health of the state's bighorn sheep herds. This is the worst report I've had the misfortune of giving in the decade plus that I've been doing this. this so this is the wor our worst year for herd health in over a decade for bighorns in Colorado. An infectious respiratory disease that has impacted sheep for years led to an all-age mortality last year in four herds, meaning sheep of all ages were dying. After such a poor year, we wanted to check in and see how the situation has progressed. We had the most active pathogens, bacteria, and viruses impacting bighorn sheep herd health that, we, that we've seen in at least 10 years. Once they're introduced into a herd, some of them can take years or decades to actually clear out. The quick rundown of what we've seen this summer, we're still having an all-age disease event going on in Georgetown. These diseases and pneumonia were impacting not just the Georgetown herd, but the animals in Big Thompson and North Poudre too. This year, two additional herds in Pikes Peak and Aspen Snowmass showed troubling levels of illnesses. A lot of those existing disease events that I mentioned, we're still waiting for PCR, what pathogen and strain, so we can't identify the exact pathogen and strain yet. So let's look at the big picture. Has herd health improved at all from last year's disease outbreak? Given that we're still picking up sick and dead sheep in many of the same herds as last year, and there's new ones that are now on the radar, I would say it's ongoing and probably not an improvement. Respiratory pathogens from domestic sheep are CPW's biggest challenge with management of bighorn sheep. Maintaining separation between wild and domestic sheep is important to maintaining healthy wild sheep. There is a place for domestic grazing and private flocks, and obviously there, we feel like there's definitely a place for wild sheep. It's just not together. That's the main goal, and I think I, I hope we can all agree that, that that's a good goal. That means if you see domestic sheep and wild sheep together, call CPW right away. The local biologists and district wildlife managers can address that quickly. So we wanted to know, is this something to be worried about? Yeah, there's reason for concern, but it's nothing new. It's not a new situation, so, and that's why I'm trying not to be alarmist. This is to some degree par for the course. We had had a good run for the last ten, eight years or so. Population estimates last year were about 7,000, which is about on track with the 25-year average. When you pop the hood on that, there's herds that are increasing, herds that are declining, and then there's herds that are stable, and then there's also herds we just don't have data on for that year. So it's not like on a statewide level, bighorn sheep are dramatically declining. The 2024 population report estimates will officially come down at the end of the year, and Holland will again present that information to the CPW Commission this January. Hopefully I have better news in January, we'll see. So far it doesn't look like I'm gonna have better news, but it's hard to say. Check out our in-depth story on this issue at denver7.com. Reporting for Denver 7, I'm Stephanie Butzer.